There was once a man, his name was Abdullah ibn Muhammad. He undertook a journey across a particular desert and he sees a tent in the middle of the desert. And as he was also finding it very difficult, you know, he was feeling very thirsty, he thought, let me go. Perhaps it was someone who's also crossing the desert and had, you know, set up camp. Maybe they may have some food or water. He goes by the tent only to see that the tent looked deserted. But the flap of the tent was open. He looked inside and he was shocked to see a man who had no feet. And he seemed to be blind, seated in the middle of the tent. Abdullah ibn Muhammad, he enters the tent. He basically greets the man saying, Assalamu alaikum. The man says, Wa alaikum salam wa who are you? Then he introduces himself and says, I'm just crossing this desert and I saw your tent. So I thought, you know, perhaps you would have some water or food for me to, you know, refresh myself and then continue my journey. The man says, yes, you'll find something by the table over there. You can help yourself. Now, whilst he was helping himself to water and food, he hears this man praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah alladhi faddalani ala kathir min ibadihi tafdila. Praise be to Allah who has favored me over many of his slaves. And he kept on saying this. Now, this man, Abdullah, he was surprised. He was wondering, you know, how has Allah favored this man? He's in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a desert. He doesn't have feet. He's blind. And he's praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he ate, he drank water, and all the while this man was praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He goes back to him and he asks him, can you please tell me, you keep remembering Allah, you're keeping on thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but for what? And you're saying that Allah has favored you over his slaves. But how? How has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favored you? You don't have legs, you're blind, and there's no one to help you or support you. The man, before he replied to that, he asked him a question. Well, don't you think that there are people around the world who cannot speak or dumb or mute? This man said, yes, of course there are. Then he says, look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me a tongue. I can praise him. I can read the Quran. I can speak. And maybe when someone comes, I can ask them to help me. And they help me. Don't you think that there are people who are paralyzed and bedridden? The man said, yes, of course. And this man said, look at me, alhamdulillah, yes, I don't have feet, but I'm healthy, I'm sitting upright, I have no issues. And then he said to him, don't you think that there are individuals who don't have children? Then this man, Abdullah, said, yes, there are people, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests, he doesn't give them children. Then this man, the old man, he says, I have a son who has gone out to look for food. So I have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. So he went on mentioning little, little blessings until he convinced Abdullah ibn Muhammad who went in the first place, he convinced him. And then he asked him, okay, now that you have refreshed yourself, can you please do me a favor? Since last evening, my son, he went out to get some food to hunt or whatever it is, and he hasn't returned yet. Can you please go out and see where he is and tell him that I'm waiting for him to come and help me, you know, do my usual chores. Then this man agrees. He goes out looking for this man's son, the old man's son. As he made his way out of the tent, and looked around a bit, he saw some vultures circling around a particular area. So this man's fears started to grow and he made his way behind the rock only to find the dead body of the little boy. Now this man, Abdullah, was thinking, how on earth am I to go and break this news to the old man who's already going through so many challenges? And his other worry was, I don't want to break his optimistic attitude. Now he was racking his mind and brains as to how am I going to do this? Half of him told him, you know what, just get on your horse and go. He felt so bad and difficult. But then he felt it a responsibility upon him that he should inform the old man because if not, he'll be worried to death thinking about his son. So he makes his way, he drags himself with heavy steps to the tent to inform the old man and he enters the tent. And before informing and before breaking the sad news to him, he asked him, Ya Shaykh, you know Ayyub alayhi salatu was salam, yes? The old man said, yes, I know him. Do you know of his story? He said, yes, I know of his story. His story is one of patience. Then this man asked him, do you think that you are tested more or was Ayyub alayhi salatu wasalam tested more? This man said, of course, Ayyub, he was tested the most by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he lost his wealth, he lost his children and he was inflicted with a sickness, a disease where people despised going near him. I mean, they hated being near him and they all moved away. Allah has not tested me in such a way. Then this man, Abdullah ibn Muhammad, he told him, I went out looking for your son but then I found him dead and it's a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this man was heartbroken but he did not show it he started to weep and cry and he started to say Alhamdulillah alladhi faldalani ala kathirin min ibadihi tafdila and as he was praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he fell to the ground and he passed away Abdullah ibn Muhammad arranged for the burial of this man because there was nobody around. So they buried the man and the child and he made his way. Now once he reached his city and once he settled home, that night when he slept, he sees a dream. And in that dream, 
he sees this man, the same man. Books of history mention his name was Abu Kalaba. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had blessed him. He had two feet, he could see, and he looked so handsome. He had such a glowing complexion. And Abdullah, he asks the man, how did things fare with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He kept on saying, Alhamdulillah, alladhi faddalani ala kathirin min ibadihi tafdila. All praise be to Allah, who has favored me over many of his slaves. Allahu Akbar.